welcome back on info for triply and you are watching a series on power electronics using metlab simlink this is ninth video of this series in which we will discuss about main block in metlab simlink and you are with pramjit singh jamwal first of all we will discuss why to use main block suppose we have a voltage vr across resistor load in the form of square wave signal and we want to obtain its average value so it can be obtained with the use of mean block in mean block there is a one parameter required that is frequency of this square wave as this square wave has one cycle of 1 into 10 to the minus 3 that is Uh, one millisecond cycle. It means it is zero point zero zero one second. So its frequency will be one upon zero point zero zero one. That is thousand hertz. So thousand hertz frequency will be used in the mean block to obtain its average value. So now moving towards the practical session on MATLAB. In this video, we will continue the simulation we have created in eighth video of this series. So first of all, open that simulation and save this simulation with different name. now open labe browser to identify the mean block and go to simscape power system specialized technology and then fundamental blocks and here go to measurements and additional measurements so here this is a mean block just drag this mean block into your simulation file as we want to obtain the average value of load voltage that is the resistive voltage so connect its input to the output of load voltage and also create a copy of this scope block to measure its average value and also measure voltage in a, in a single scope so i'm selecting its input port to 2 and layout to to two also now connect output of mini block to the second terminal of scope and connect its first terminal to the input of mini block that's a vr voltage and that's a average of vr voltage we can also put the tagging it's a load voltage and it's a average of vr now click on mean block to set its parameter so first it is asking fundamental frequency so fundamental frequency of our square wave voltage is 1000 hertz so place this here and we don't need to change the initial input and now we change the sample time and sample time we are using 50 microsecond in the simulation so now save this simulation and run this simulation and click on scale x and y axis limit so here you can clearly see that first one is a, our square wave voltage seen across the resistive load and second one is showing two value initially it is showing zero value and after one second one millisecond it is showing the some value which is greater than 100 volt so why it is like that because when we selected the thousand frequency it means it is holding the mean block is holding the value of samples for 1 milliseconds and after 1 millisecond it is taking the average of its and showing it here and now after this it takes it consider the next sample and uh, leave the last sample so it moves in the window of 1 millisecond in this way it obtain the average value of this signal to check its exit value we can zoom this here so it is around 109 volt so this is sufficient for today i am thankful to mr ayan das for his appreciating words 
if this video is useful to you then like and share it if you have any query or solutions then let me know through your comments if you want to get the notification about our upcoming videos then subscribe our channel and click on bell icon thank you for being with us